Hello students, welcome to lecture 4 of unit 2. It will probably be the last chapter of this unit. Here we will discuss the chemical potential of an ideal mixture and change in the thermodynamic functions in mixing ideal gas. So, we have already discussed about the chemical potential of a pure substance which is given by change in Gibbs free energy with respect to the amount present in it. That is mu i is equal to del G by del N i at constant temperature pressure N1, N2, N3 or N j not equal to j not equal to i. So, this is how we define chemical potential for a pure substance. This we have already covered in our previous lecture. From this expression, we can also conclude that the change in Gibbs free energy of a system at constant temperature and pressure is given as dg is equal to sum over i equal to 1 to n mu i dni where mu i is the chemical potential of substance i. Now, what is the chemical potential for a perfect gas? We have been using the equation mu equal to mu naught plus RT ln P by P naught. Now, we will try to derive this expression. This expression holds true for a perfect gas. We already know the fundamental equation of thermodynamics for a pure substance is given by dG is equal to VdP minus SdT for a closed system. At constant temperature and pressure, at constant temperature, dg is equal to vdp because t SD, for sdt the t value becomes 0. For n mole of gas, we also know pv equal to nrt for a perfect gas. So, we can substitute the value of vdp here as in dg is equal to nrt dp by p so what we did we just substituted the value of v nrt by p so here we have written dg is equal to in terms of vdp we have written nrt dp by p okay now suppose there is a change in pressure from p naught to p so the change in gibbs free energy will be delta g is equal to uh, Gibbs free energy at pressure P minus Gibbs free energy at pressure P naught which will be equal to nRT integration from P naught to P dP by P from this particular equation and so finally we can write delta G is equal to nRT ln P by P naught for one mole of pure gas n equal to 1 the molar Gibbs free energy Gm is given by for 1 mole we can write gm is equal to gm naught plus rt ln p naught from here this continues so in terms of chemical potential we can just substitute the value of gm and gm naught to mu and mu naught so mu equal to mu naught plus rt ln p by p naught where mu naught is the standard chemical potential or molar gibbs free energy of pure gas at 1 bar pressure now what is the chemical potential for real gases so in for real gases here I have shown the difference between ideal gas and real gas that you should already know for real gases we just use the term F fugacity the property which replaces the two true pressure of the gas by an effective effective pressure so it becomes mu equal to mu naught plus RT ln F by P naught where we for ideal gas we had mu equal to mu naught plus RT ln P by P naught here we have just substituted the term P with F F is the fugacity now let us look into the chemical potential for mixtures of ideal gas so for substance that are in a mixture chemical potential is defined as this particular equation mu j equal to del g by del n j at constant pressure temperature and composition n i not equal to n j and in terms of a graph 
between Gibbs energy and composition how can we determine the chemical potential so the tangent here at a particular position the tangent gives the value of that particular suppose the composition is a then at this particular point the tangent gives the value of mu so for composition say b the tangent here gives the value of mu so the total gibbs free energy for a mixture for k component suppose is given as g is equal to n a mu a plus n b mu b and discontinues until n k mu k okay so we already know dg is written as v d p minus s d t plus mu a d n a plus mu b d n b until mu k d n k correct so uh, this this whole terms we can just put as summation v d p minus s d t plus sum sum over all these terms correct now for constant temperature and pressure this equation reduces to d g is equal to sum over for j component say it will become sum over j mu j d n j okay now let us look into the thermodynamics of mixing suppose there are two perfect gases in two containers uh, with n a and n b number of moles both are at temperature t and pressure p so we already know for each it will be mu equal to mu naught r t oh sorry mu naught plus r t ln mu equal to mu naught plus r t ln p by p naught now let this p by p naught term since it is a pressure term let us write in terms of just p so let us just write mu naught plus r t ln p okay this is this particular equation now g i this n a is equal to n a plus mu a uh, sorry n a mu a plus n b mu b it converts to what n a this mu a we can write in terms of mu a naught plus r t l n p plus n b mu mu b here it was mu b we are writing in terms of mu b naught plus r t l n p okay we are just changing these terms in terms of mu naught r t l n p so this gives the gibbs free energy of the total system now after mixing once we have mixed for suppose two components that we have considered the pressures are p a and p b then we have to change this term p as p a and p b correct now the difference g f that is final minus initial of gibbs free energy will give us the delta mixing g so del mix g is equal to n r t n a r t l n p a by p plus n b r t l n p b by p so we just take it back to its original form so this is the this is the value for delta g mix mixing for the purpose of mixing now we also see suppose this p a by p term can be substituted as the mole fraction in terms of mole fraction we can rewrite this as delta g mixing equal to n r t x a l n x a plus x b l n x b where we replace n j by x j n where n is the total amount of a and b and we use the relation between partial pressure and mole fraction the details of this can be found in the notes attached with this class now since dg by dt at constant pressure and number is equal to minus s so it immediately follows what it immediately follows what the value of delta s mixing will be so delta s mixing will be del del uh, delta mix g by del t at constant pressure and composition n a n b so this will give from this previous relation from this particular relation we are just rewriting the values minus n r into x a ln x a plus x b ln x b so it follows that for all composition delta s mixing will be greater than zero for equal amount of gas so x a equal to x b 
equal to t, we obtain delta S mixing is equal to nR ln 2, where n is the total number of gas molecules. The increase in entropy is what is expected when one gas disperses into the other and the disorderliness increases. We can also calculate the isothermal isobaric enthalpy of mixing for two perfect gases since delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. So what follows is the value of delta H mixing that is enthalpy of mixing which is zero. With this we conclude today's lecture. If you have any doubts please go through the notes or you can also contact me through email. With this I say thank you for your attention. Thank you once again.